Hello and happy ha- 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 <laughs> happy 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 hey. happy hap sauce high day. Hop, 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 hop. It's it's actually fap sauce Friday and we're booking gaming. <gasps> yeah, you're right. I'm Travis and I'm Eric and this is if my heart had wings and we're still trying to find yeah we need another a, member we need a member yeah um how what was the sister's name. Hitomi, Hamitaro, Hitori, Hamtaro, Hitaru. Hitaru. Yeah. Hitaru. She didn't want to join, and wheelchair girl Kotori doesn't want to join because she's of, dying. I, we think she's dying. I mean, she's dying, or she's like convinced she's going to die, but uh, maybe she doesn't. I don't know, or she does, and it's sad. I guess we'll find out. Oh, but it looks know. like we can't find anyone. Where is everyone? <laughs> oh fuck! It's Sunday. <laughs> it's been two days since I joined the Soaring Club. Ooh. Can we call it the Soaring Eagle Club? Have you soared yet? <laughs> Meanwhile, Agi and I have been trying to recruit new members whenever we found some spare time. Although everyone was interested, nobody's joined yet. Uh... Hmm. As I thought, everyone's scared of Omni Senpai, aren't they? What the hell is that supposed to mean? I don't think she's that scary, though. It's not that, she's just too incredible. She's too fucking hot. <laughs> Look, Aoi, you just transferred here so you don't really know how she is. Her boobs literally float. She's a man-eater. <laughs> ooh, ooh, here she comes. <laughs> that girl is a living legend in our school. That makes her sound like a slut. <laughs> I didn't know she was a legendary level weirdo already. Also, there are rumors that she's antisocial. <gasps> oh, no! What's that like? <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> the basis for <laughs> such rumors wasn't clear, but she didn't have any friends and hardly showed up for classes. She basically shut herself off in the garage. Even when she did come out occasionally, she was always alone and didn't contact anyone. If you look at it like that, she certainly seemed quite antisocial. This club is led by Omine Senpai, right? It looks like people are worried that they won't be able to keep up with her. And then there's one other reason. What's that? Oh, the, the rumor. The murder. Yes, the, the murder. rumor. <laughs> the rumor come out. There is something I learned while we were looking. Looking for members. That's not, that, that was me internally. Mm-hmm. It was something said only in whispers, like some urban legend. She's a ghost. If you get involved with the Soaring Club, you attract the attention of Ta- Tobioka Sensei. That's my favorite pudding. <laughs> I could go for some Tobioka. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> Who knows? However, it's not impossible. Who's that? Oh. That's me. Her. <laughs> oh, I've just skipped it without reading. My first name means whale. <laughs> his first name meant whale, but he didn't have such a large build as one might imagine. However, it said that his attitude was exceptionally big. I've seen him before. He was the teacher acting as a moral advisor, the nagging and annoying type. There were a lot of teachers like that at my old school, but here it was a bit of a rarity. Tobioka-sensei is the advisor to the robotics club. In other words, the advisor of a Gia's club. Oh. I've told you before, right? Omni senpai achieved amazing things in the robotics club in the past. You did say that. (laughs) You mean how she was one step away from the national championship? Agia nodded. And also that she lost because she had pressed the wrong button on the controller. Butterfingers. <laughs> Since I knew she accidentally hit the share button because it's like right in the middle next mm-hmm. to the start and it kind of goes off. But then it makes your game lag a little bit. <laughs> Since I knew Moch- Mochisuki Amine's character to some extent, I could imagine her making such a simple mistake. There's more to that story. Tobioka Sensei was the advisor to the robotics club at the time as well. When that happened, he was extremely vexed. Extremely vexed, you say? I guess that must have been frustrating. I would have felt the same way if I had been in that situation. It seems he was very determined to win the next time, but... Shortly after that, Omine Senpai suddenly quit the robotics club. Why? I don't know, she said something about flying. Probably embarrassed. (laughs) Well, I don't know. According to one theory, she wasn't really into it to begin with. She didn't even care about losing the championship. Since then, K3 Robotics Club has been living on the glory of the past. Now they failed to achieve decent results. We just make like a bunch of cardboard robots. (laughs) So you mean that Tapioca Sensei resents Amei Senpai for that? Agia nodded with a serious expression. That's ridiculous. Nah, I can't really say that. My last year, 
was good when it came to spewarts. There was a spewarts scholarship. A spewarts ball. And it was important <laughs> for the school to get results in tournaments. <laughs> Just making this harder on myself. The advisors <laughs> and directors of each cl- club were evaluated accordingly. At times, even their jobs were at stake. The robotics club is the most popular popular club at this school its performance is directly linked with the promotion of the school yeah so if tapioca since i really held a grudge against amine senpai i couldn't really exactly say it was strange strange the strange where'd she go <laughs> <laughs> damn it i gotta quit blacking out when i do a flashback you okay with this what do you mean well tapioca is your advisor right will you be all right with him scowling at you Hmm, he might bug me with snide comments, but if I use earplugs, I'll be fine. I'm not listening. I don't think that's the main problem. But it is the main problem. Huh? Agia inclined her head. Not tilted. Inclined. <laughs> I, I know what you're trying to say, Aoi, but since there's something more important at stake, it can't be helped. What's the more important thing? Uh, thoughts... I like you, okay? <laughs> what was her voice? Uh, Who? Oh, it's you two! The... Oh, right. Minasi I, I don't even know what her voice was now. Uh, she was bitchy. Yeah. Minasi Aoi-kun and Himegi Agiya-san, right? That's not what it was. But... It was more of a... <clears throat> kind of sure. gravelly. <clears throat> give, it, give it like a Marge. Okay. There like it is. A toad? Yeah, kind of. Hi. Hi. Hello, Vice President. You must be in the middle of gathering new members. It doesn't look like things are going too well, does it? You slipped into Monokuma. I, I, <laughs> I lost it. She had a. I was going a direction with her voice before. I guarantee she doesn't show up after this whole like issue is resolved. I bet she disappears forever. The vice president gave me a bitter smile as she made her assumptions. I could be wrong. I'm also making assumptions. But well, if it's just one more member than one way or another... I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna get to get to get to get him. <laughs> You're always quoting that stupid <laughs> song. <laughs> I'll tell you this now. Ghost members absolutely won't be accepted. She stated frankly and in a new voice. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? There must be other clubs that have ghost members, right? What about the Ghost Hunters Club? <laughs> Why is it only us? The members aren't... No! <laughs> That's... <laughs> When we dared to raise such childish protest, Vice President flashed an angry glare at us. The other small-scale culture clubs, base clubs, are beside the point. The scale of the sewing club's facilities is just too big. No other club occupies a garage like that. The robotics club uses a huge garage, No other club is the robotics club, too. <laughs> It has approximately 60 members, and they have achieved results in national competitions. <laughs> the one who achieved those results was Omine Senpai, though. Vice Presidente ignored Agia's complaint and continued her lecturente. <laughs> if the sewing club were to vacate the garage, clubs like the Light Music Club and the Taiko Drum Study Society could have remodeled it into a practice studio. At the same time? Taiko drums are not light music, though. <laughs> it could be... You could have drums in the light music club. <laughs> Others like the RC club. Delicious. Which is where everybody just sits around and drinks a Royal <laughs> Crown soda. <laughs> Photography club or film studies group also would want to use it. It's where people sit around and drink soda and wonder if people even remember it exists. <laughs> If we added a partition inside, then it could have been used by multiple clubs for their activities. If you think about it like that, then there is no way that a club made by gathering ghost members will be accepted. But we're the ghost member collecting club, ugh. That, that's fair enough. Agi and I felt small and we looked downwards, embarrassed by raising our childish complaints. <laughs> the urge to call her mommy was great. However... She let out a little sigh. If you join the Akari's Mommy Club, I will... <laughs> if Mochizuki Senpai were to ask, there should be some people who would join her. In other words, you're not making any unreasonable demands. Of course not. It's not my intention to get rid of the Soaring Club. This situation sets a bad example for other clubs, and I just want to straighten it out. However, Amane Senpai isn't trying to invite any members herself. It's really frustrating. 
You mean that you have no choice but to play the bad guy and give Omine Senpai a big kick in the butt? I'm not saying I'll go that far. She's really big. It would hurt my foot. My legs don't go that high. Is that clear? You have to find proper club members. Because ghost members definitely won't be accepted. Ooh. Vice President stressed that. Stressed that out and left us. I'm really stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could turn back time. Like the good old days. <laughs> Akari son is, is strict, but she's a good... I, I lost it. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't... We both... Akari just... son is strict, but she's a good person, isn't she? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I I just met her. She doesn't seem very flexible, though. That's she couldn't she... even reach Amine's <laughs> ass to kick. Yeah. It's because she's not in the gymnastics club. <laughs> she seemed familiar with students' names and profiles, so cheating by only borrowing someone's name probably wouldn't work. But it's a strange story. What do you mean? Even though Amine Senpai quickly left the robotics club, she's been staying in the soaring club for years, right? To the point of becoming the super repeat student. Yeah, you've got the point there. I don't know what it is, but I imagine you have one. You're super repeating everything I've said up till this point. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a new episode of the anime. We have to get a refresher. Yeah. Even so, she isn't trying to get any new members. Maybe she really is antisocial after all. I mean, Why is that, like, talked about like it's a disease? I, I don't know, because it's a whole thing in the anime. Which is not, you don't want to be a neat. And... I, I guess. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> There's different levels of antisocial, though. The more I knew about the situation, the less I understood it. You just gotta have friends. <laughs> After school, Hagia and I headed to the Soaring Club's garage. After all, we were already members. Were you? Of the Soaring Club? There's no club. I'm sorry, guys. As soon as she saw us, Amine Senpai bowed her head in apology. I ate all the melon bread again. I fashioned a new member. <laughs> Cut it out, Senpai. <laughs> out of the glider bar. <laughs> but now, the entire point of the club is negated. Yeah, but now I get to have sex with it. <laughs> Yeah, seeing you like this seems to take years off my life. If it won't go well, I'm planning to leave without a fuss. I'm still looking forward at, for a new place I could move to, though. My room. <laughs> Does that mean you're giving up on the club? Amine Senpai nodded apologetically. Senpai, what, why don't you look for new members yourself? Just go blackmail one of them. You need one more person. Yeah. I'm only doing this for myself, so I don't have any reason to involve other people. Find a desperate nerd who would say yeah. yes to anything a woman would ask him. Just one quick flash and you would get, you could get somebody to <laughs> You wouldn't join. even need to be a full-on flash. Just, like, no. unbutton your top button and, like, amine it up and they would follow you. Join, please. Is that what she really thinks? <laughs> Is that because you don't want to let anyone come near this place? If so, then we... No, that's not it. People are always welcome to come and take a look. But how about becoming members? Uh, I don't know. I'm shy. I understand that if I don't find anyone, I won't be able to stay here. That would be a big problem. But as for what I should do, I still haven't found the answer. Senpai looked really distressed and depressed. I was hoping you guys would just go find the fourth member. <laughs> You'd Wasn't think it'd be the easy. There's so many people in this school. <laughs> if we kept asking any more questions, we'd be just pointlessly cornering her. By the way, Senpai, what are you planning to do after building the glider? Into a competition? <laughs> we could use club's activities, objectives as a material for our recruitment drive. Did, did, yeah, you, did big trophy. You could fly a glider. <laughs> as far as the quick <laughs> check that we did goes, apparently there were no competitions for gliders, too. Competition? No. I'm not planning to enter anything like that. So, what do you, what we, we could do? I'm just gonna work on the glider. That's why I do this alone. I keep up. There's a place I want to go to. I just want to go to sleep. It's heaven. A faint smile crossed <laughs> Amine Senpai's face as if she was about to start telling a nostalgic story. Her goal is to just build a glider to crash <laughs> off a cliff. <laughs> she just, she's trying to hit the windmill. <laughs> a place you want to go to? That's what Isaka said. Downtown. Once, once the glider is complete, we could go there. Isaka? She said that name before. Is she hot? It, 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 oh, that's it. It will fly to the sky that Isaka spoke of. Do you have an imaginary friend or something? <laughs> ghost girlfriend? Yeah, that's why ghost members don't count. Yeah. Amine Senpai, immersed in her in memories, looked at the photo frame on the desk. The frame without a photo. 
She oh, looked, she's crazy. <laughs> she looked like she had gone into her own little world. Didn't seem like we could ask her any more questions. Maybe she's the MC of her own visual novel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always picture the, the Scrubs JD thing where he just like tilts his head. Uh -huh. Just like stops talking while he does the flashback. He's mono she's monologuing right now. Yeah. Well, then we'll be off. To search for people who might join the club and yeah, not to run away from that's crazy. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever answer Senpai finds, avoiding revokement of the club status was the top priority now. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you two the same height? What's going on here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't mention it. Please prepare a summary of the club's achievements instead. Yeah, I got it. The sky. The night sky. It was past <laughs> 9 o'clock at night. In the kitchen, I was washing five people's worth of dishes. In the dormitory, there were six people, including myself, but <gasps> Habane-san didn't show up for dinner or to help prepare beforehand. She's already skipping out on her chores. Mm -hmm. She was shut away in her room. Just in case, I put her dinner in the fridge. If she gets hungry, she can eat it whenever she wants. Or she can eat a chicken. Maybe she's feeling down. Maybe. Because of the whole dying Are thing. you down? Down, 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 down. <laughs> Why does she want to drop out of school? Was it because of what Agia said? That she was being antagonized by the girls in class? Is it not obvious, dude? Or maybe because the lessons were boring? I don't know. Go fucking ask her. Yeah, or... She, I mean, she wouldn't... He did ask her, didn't he? I guess. Or could she have a reason I didn't know about? <clears throat> there must be something. Perhaps even she herself didn't fully understand it. I'm turning into a duck! Oh, I, of no. all people, can't really say anything here. I didn't think that anyone would understand the real reason why I came back to this town. Can I borrow your duck to be our fourth member? <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I still haven't sorted it out myself. He can give us the flying lesson. <laughs> yeah. As I got into a somewhat gloomy mood, a sound of quick footsteps echoed throughout the hallway. <gasps> Who was Kaneko? I don't know. Kaneko sa uh... Was that... Oh, right. Hey, she's in her underwear again. <laughs> I can do something. I mean, if you insist. <laughs> mm. I thought there was going to be more. I'm sorry. I took a drink. <laughs> what is it? Could it be that you were attacked by a pervert? I was kind of hoping. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I kept my back to her. But when I was asking that question, my eyes unintentionally wandered in her direction. <laughs> nope. It's Kotarin. I don't know who that is. There's too many K names. Huh? <laughs> it's the, the, the wheelchair girl. Was she undressed by Habanai-san? No. That can't be it. That only happens in my dreams. <laughs> She said she's having a bath by herself, and she won't listen to me. Ugh, if she just wants to take a bath. That's not it. She said she was going to get into the bathtub. Oh, crap. Into the bathtub? There was a wheelchair in our bath's dressing room. Hamane-san was using it exclusively for baths. She always relied on it when she was taking a shower. Never seen her do that, of course. I've tried. <laughs> yeah. She couldn't enter the I would bathtub. hope you haven't. <laughs> in the wheelchair, though. In order to get into the bathtub, she needed someone's assistance. Her older sister hasn't been coming here lately, you know. She said she couldn't wait any longer. There's, she's got an older sister? Apparently. From what I had heard, it seems that Habane-san had an older sister. That's what I just said, yes. <laughs> when her sister comes here, <laughs> only then do they get in the bathtub together. Hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I bought a bunch of cameras for security. However, she hadn't come around here recently. At least not since I'd become the door your mother. Your mommy. The your mama. <laughs> Oh, give me a break already. Every day, I only use a shower, so I felt like getting into a bath. And that's why I asked you to just let me in. No way! That's sexual harassment! Get lost! And so, <laughs> I have to ask you, dorm mother, mommy, help her into the bath. How is that better than you doing it? What? Because I don't want to fucking do it. <laughs> Unwilling to accompany me, Kanako, Kanako-san left me all by my lonesome. All by myself. I'm gonna bathe some girls nether regions. <laughs> hey, wait! Left alone, I faced Habane-san for the first time. Be, be, what? Bean? Bean? All right, shall I help you get in? Absolutely not. She glared at me with a dreadful expression. I can get in the bath myself. Yeah, but you can't, though. <laughs> hmm. Hold on. <laughs> well, none of the other girls really help her. I guess. There's, uh, there's like four other girls here. Yeah. Well, she didn't want help. Uh, well, she didn't want help from anyone. Yeah. 
but it's weird that she came to you to do it when you're the only guy here. Hamane-san entered the dressing room and closed the door. It's almost like it's like an anime or something. Given the situation, I couldn't exactly go barging in there. If you have any problems, call me right away. I won't let you peek. She replied in a scary voice. Ooh. <laughs> it couldn't be helped, so I was waiting outside. I sat down in front of the dressing room door like a guard. No, I don't think she did. I think Kaneko came to say, but then she's like, I'm not having him help me get in the bath. I'll do it myself. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it was pretty trivial, but being the only guy in a girl's dormitory made taking baths inconvenient. I was the only one who had a set time. That's why I wouldn't have any excuses if I carelessly ran into any of them in here. Because I never pee. I could hear a faint <laughs> sound of the shower from the bathroom. I just keep piss jugs in my room. She was probably washing herself off before getting in the bath. That well, Okay. I could hear the sound of water lightly splashing. <laughs> just take a shower then. Right? Just sit down and take a shower. Got kind of excited. Oh. <laughs> the limited information I got from just the sound actually stirred up my imagination. I'm like Daredevil. Yeah. I can hear the distance of the water falling and paint a picture of her exact naked body. There you go. Nice. I got strongly conscious of the fact that Hibane-san was taking a bath. Did, have you never thought of any of them bathing up until now? You're right. You never heard, like, the shower running or anything? <laughs> Wait, what am I thinking? If she knew what I was imagining, she'd probably try to tear me apart limb from limb. She'd as try. I, as I tried to clear those thoughts from my head. But I would just step back about five feet. Right? Splash! Oh, no. I got up reflexively, opened the dressing room door, and dashed inside. I'm taking a bath. Whoa! Okay. Are we it, Are we getting... <laughs> is the first censorship going to be hot sauce? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it can be a taco, I guess. oop Uh, I didn't know you were Jewish. Are you okay? <laughs> she just smashes a plate <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> I don't think that's exactly... Also, you don't want to walk in on a naked person and say, I didn't know you were Jewish. I just thought of that. <laughs> I jumped into the bathtub and got out son, who was struggling and wrigg wriggling, stirring the hot water with her hands. I lifted her in my arms. Help me, I'm drowning! <laughs> just ah! sit up. <laughs> <laughs> the water is like two inches deep. <laughs> hey, hey, hang on. Hang in there, Abane son. <laughs> Abane Saad was still panicking and desperately clung to me while I was helping her sit up. Oh, my clothes are all wet now. It's okay. You're safe now. Ha! <laughs> ha! So it's okay to punch you? <laughs> Abane Saad looked at me. It looked like she didn't know who or what she was clinging to. Ha <laughs> ha! So she, like, fully fell in. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it's all right. Everything's fine now. I only looked a little. Yeah. The hero Ab always looks. <laughs> Abane Saad nodded weakly while still clinging to me tightly. I stayed like this for a short while to calm her down. And the freakout's coming in three, uh, two, freak one. Freakout! <gasps> Le <Chic. laughs> Suddenly, we both realized what we had failed to notice earlier. The boobles. That I am a boy. And Oh, wow. Hey, yeah, we got there it, it is. Hibane-san was stark naked, and I, I was embracing her. Eek! Um... Oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 dear. We didn't know what to do for a moment, but since she couldn't exactly kick me out, we kept holding on to each other for now. Maybe we kissed? <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to hide her chest. Habane saw it stuck even closer to me. D don't worry, I'm not looking. Uh, it's okay, you can look. How many signs went bright red and looked like she was about to cry? I'll go now. Sorry. <laughs> Just drop her back in the water. Yeah. <laughs> All right, son. Down on the floor. <laughs> I thought that if I went and called Kanaka, son, everything would be settled. <laughs> Don't go. Oops. Squeeze. Um. She clung to me weakly yet desperately. Oh. Yeah, she's squeezing me. <laughs> but Well, it shows a boob on the screen. Yeah, I, yeah of course. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, but but please, I'll drown. <laughs> Abane Saad's hands were trembling faintly. I remember that time when we first met on the Windmill Hill. Because she was also naked. <laughs> In uh, my mind. All right. <laughs> when I nodded, her shaking seemed to have settled a little. Thank you. You stayed like this for a while. Then Kanako-san suddenly peeked into the bathroom. <laughs> Just as I planned. <laughs> I heard a big noise. What happened? 
Well, this and that. This and that. This was a result. This and this and that. <laughs> this was a result of ignoring Kanika-san's advice. <laughs> but I just couldn't say something like that in front of the teary-eyed, trembling Hibane-san. I'd feel really bad for her. It seems that Kanika-san also sympathized with her. Could you get a bath towel? <laughs> yep. <laughs> then could you cover Hibane-san up? <laughs> nope. I mean, yep. <laughs> While Kanika-san was putting her towel around her, Hibane-san was quietly clinging to me. Afterwards, she obediently got into the bath with Kanako-san. Kanako-san also refrained from <laughs> unnecessary jabs and was more worried about calming Habane-san down. Were you still there when she got naked? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think she'd care, though. She just walks around yeah. in the 90s. While I was doing the your mother, mommy's jobs in the kitchen, Katori had gotten out of the bath and came to see me. She was pretty embarrassed. I'm pretty embarrassed. <laughs> Thanks for just now. Oh, well... Uh, don't mention it. As long as you don't mention my boner. I stopped myself from saying something like, that's another one of the dear mommy's jobbies. Being a dorm mommy wasn't a reason why I did that just now. Why did you say it that way? <laughs> you must have been shocked. I'm pretty hot. <laughs> I thought I can't get into the bath by myself. Well. I didn't know how to answer. Habane-san left me and went back to her room. Where's the duck? I don't know. It's been a while. I think he'd want to get in on that bath. <laughs> Hello, Oni-chan. No, it's nothing. I'm not crying. You see, <laughs> it's a thing we were talking about earlier. About the school. Yeah. Yeah. I've made up my mind. Ooh. She just talking to the dog plush? Extend the little wings, let's fly in the sky. Holly, Holly. Holly. <laughs> it went that way. I think we're at an episode. Oh, are we? I, uh, sure. Okay. I mean, that was the end of a scene. Yeah, that's a good point. I guess. Well, it went that way. It did it. Yeah. Uh, well, now you gotta click. Now I'm interested. It, no. Okay. We'll, do, we'll never know. Next You've got to wait until next week. Next time we got to know. What went that way? A duck. Probably a duck. Mm -hmm.